So I want to record a video, but I've been camping the last few days with the kids here at uh, Mendit Camp in uh, Somerset. Wonderful campsite. But it's been so busy, I haven't had a minute to make a video. And uh, this is the quietest it's been. And it's uh, sunrise. <laughs> and uh, we're going home today. Uh, possibly stopping off to have a quick look at Cheddar Gorge before we do and uh, I've got to work tonight anyway so got a lot of uh, thankfully it's not raining uh, we didn't have any rain yesterday either in fact that might be a there's probably a blue sky out there so if it doesn't rain while we're taking the tents down that'll be great I was, um, thought it was in a big tent and then one of the grandsons in a little tent my son has his own tent so a lot of tents to take down, something I don't miss <laughs> from uh, my camping days. It's so much easier when it's all in the van. Problem is that by the time we get to Leamington, I'll have had to put, pack so all these wet, possibly wet tents into my van and uh, yeah, get my stuff wet at the same time. Anyway, then when we get to Leamington, obviously we've got to unpack it all, which is always a tedious part coming back from tam camping. Um, luckily most of the stuff's mine, so uh, I know where it all goes. And then, yeah, get ready to work tonight. So we had a lovely time. Um, yeah, just haven't had time to make any videos. Um, there's always been people around. Um, but it's great. We've been able to have a campfire. We've been down the beach. Um, been in my favourite place, mostly. Burnham on Sea, Breen Sands. It's gorgeous there. Apex Park yesterday and uh, yeah this is the last of the summer possibly although we got with September October and that was one of my favorite camping seasons uh, yeah so might get some more time away I love it I can come down here to Burnham it's about two hours drive for me on a Friday night I can come down and come back home on a Sunday so I'm probably going to do that more um, just to get away uh, obviously on my own at weekends and stuff um, when I've got a couple of days free yeah um, I don't know I can't divorce myself from work in a way you compartmentalise I do so I kind of try to put work out of my mind but I know that when I go back basically I've got a whole week of work and uh I think we've got a bank holiday coming up soon on a Monday. I'm just not sure which one it is. It's last Monday in August, isn't it? So I've got another week or so of work. And then, I don't know, we're supposed to be normal, normal, you know, office church life come September. But I can't see it being normal. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. Normally, where I work in the church, there's lots of other people working and there's lots of, people around to talk to and stuff as you're going about your day and that but uh, more recently it's just been me, me, me and me <laughs> but when the food bank people are in on a Wednesday so everybody else is working from home and I'm kind of working from home a bit because I, I park the van up, out the back and work from that or work in my hut but yeah um, so yeah <laughs> So I'm not, not so keen on that, you know, I, I prefer to have people around to sort of bounce ideas off and stuff, but uh, we're getting back into doing our um, well, groups, setting up and running more groups now, so that's good because there's, there's always people then to interact with, the people that we're working with, helping. So uh, they uh, brighten up my day, uh, my life, uh, yeah, keep me going, um, but yeah. Oh dear, so I woke up really early, I don't know what time it is now, five-ish, probably. Um, but uh, I'm probably going to fall asleep again, I've got the alarm set for seven anyway. Uh, and I've actually got a signal, so I've been watching the, a couple of YouTube videos. I'm still mad enough to like lying in my van watching other people talking about their vans, so I've just been watching Mav. Last night I was watching the Urban Stealth Camper Van Man, I think, and uh, Socks with Sandals, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got my favourites that I like to watch. 
Uh, oh, and that when the couple had just split up, and oh, it's really sad. She's gone off on her own, and she's just got to Seoul in uh, South Korea, and she's having to do two weeks isolation in a hotel on her own. And I really felt for her because I've just come through two weeks isolation about a week ago, and uh, you know, my isolation was in my van in my own hometown, uh, not stuck in a hotel room in the middle of nowhere or somewhere you don't know very well. So yeah, I really felt for her last night watching uh, watching her go through that in a strange place, having her food brought to her, not having much control over what she had. And she was vegan too, so yeah. Yeah, so uh be interesting to see what she gets up to once she's gone through her isolation. But yeah, that's how I pass my time. I lie in my van and watch other people or oh, but other van lifers get on with their lives and sometimes they don't stay van lifing, sometimes they move on and uh, do other things instead. Yeah, like Rolling Airship, he's just bought a motorbike and he's staying with his family and he seems to have uh, decided to have a break from van life for a while. That's fair play. I'm only a year into my journey really, just over, so I think I've got a few more years of uh, enjoying it left. <laughs> Uh, but I'm definitely, definitely saving for a bigger van. Um, yeah, I mean, it's comfortable enough just for me. But like this last uh, few days, what was all the kids' stuff and having to shift things every time. I'd, I've been giving my granddaughter a lift in the front seat and I have to shift everything off it. And yeah, that gets a bit tedious after a while. So I need a bigger van. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now and uh, probably get myself another coffee and see if I can go back to sleep and I'll catch you later.